Okay, we would like to change this sketch into this shape using uh, geometric constraints by adding some ge geometric constraints. So this, uh, if I add some geometric constraints, uh, the movement might be uh, radical. So if you if you make a lot of um, radical movement, the whole sketch may screw it up. So it's hard to fix it. So maybe you want to move around and make the sketch more uh, closer to what your uh, desired shape is. So that would be uh, easier to do that way. So uh, you can just move around. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but uh, make them more closer to the sketch. Final shape will be helpful. Uh, so that's I'm gonna do it like now, like that. So uh, well, first of all, these two lines are horizontal. So I'm gonna add start adding horizontal constraint to these, and all the lines and arcs needs to be tangently connected. So I'm gonna move this closer to the tangent location. So so in order to add tangency between line and arc. You need to select both of them together while pressing the control key, align and arc, and you add tangent from the pop-up, or you can add select the uh, tangent from add relationship. So you want to go around all line and arcs and add tangency there. Uh, this line has to be vertical, so I'm going to add a vertical constraint. This line also needs to be vertical. Right, and this one needs to be horizontal. That line needs to be horizontal. Okay, if that line somehow the uh, sc sketch screws up, don't go. Just adjust your sketch uh, so that it makes make it correct. So here, if you move this, well, this this thing really is not good. Right. As you can see here, they all screwed up. So I'm going to do a couple of undos. All right. And maybe it's better to move this way. Okay. So use the undo too. If things go wrong, then you want to undo and adjust the uh, shape. Okay. Make it more closer to your final shape. Now let's keep adding the tangency. Here, doing this at tangent. This and top horizontal line tangent. So it's kind of a tedious to do this, but that's how you need to do. Tangent. 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 Okay, let's go around. So tangency is the one you can easily miss. Uh, sometimes you forget to add the tangency because this sketch sometimes it look tangent, but actually they are not. So if you don't add tangent relationship. Sometimes you you cannot fully constrain your sketch. All right, and then uh, these two lines has to be parallel to each other. So select both lines together and parallel. All right, and this line and that line has to be perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular. Need to adjust that. Well, need to move this thing or move that line. Up. All right. So whole things are kind of a all moving around. That's because this whole sketch is not fixed relative to the origin. So I can set any uh, one point to the uh, origin. So let's say I don't know, like this corner point to be coincident with that. Uh, origin, but if I just add a coincident, 
between them. So select both the points together, and if I add coincidence and see if that works fine. Yeah, this in this case this works good. So um, you can do that. Other times uh, they may also screw up the whole sketch. So in that case, what you need to do, what you can do is select the whole sketch together. So everything is selected. Now you can move one of the entities and make the uh, position close to the uh, origin so that the movement will not be big. So you select both of them together and add coins then. Okay, so as you can see here, this line now becomes black, which means this line is fixed. Uh, fully constrained. Okay, I'm gonna make, move this a little bit. Here. Another thing is that all these arcs looks like they are concentric, meaning they're set up. They share the same center point. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you need to select two arcs together, and one of the constraint is concentric. So you're gonna add that. So add a concentric. So do the same thing between these two arcs concentric these two arcs concentric so move around now you need to make uh, a little bit more closer to the final shape Again, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Just add a proper constraint. Uh, maybe this is too big. Now it more look like that. 